The thousands of students took to the streets in the Greek capital Athens to protest against a law allowing for the entry of foreign universities into the country. But just hours before the crucial vote, the proceedings for which are still underway, the angry students clashed with the police outside the Greek parliament in St. Latins. The hundreds of protesters hurled petrol bombs at the police, who in turn resorted to firing tear gas canisters. Now, the demonstrations have been ongoing for several weeks now, and it is not just the students who are against the law. Teachers and university staff are equally dissatisfied with the planned reform. They say that public education will suffer as the policy will devalue degrees from public universities and will reduce state funding. It will destroy our degrees. It will destroy free public education. For two months now, we have been clear that this bill should be rescinded. We will take it to the end. The students could be seen marching on the streets with banners that read hands off public education. One placard even called for the Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis to be a university thief. However, the Greek leader has said that the policy will put the country on the map for higher education in the region. It also reversed the exodus of the Greek students to universities abroad. But students are worried about increased competition. This bill means our degrees will become toilet paper. It means that the next day we will have to compete with a wide variety of graduates with various degrees. It means that free public education will be severely degraded. But the bill is likely to get passed as Mitsotakis led conservative government controls over 158 lawmakers in a 300 seat legislature. Now, the bill is in fact a part of the government's reform agenda that includes a same-sex marriage law that was passed last month. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.